okay, he's here, and I don't know if he's gonna ring the doorbell or not. He probably thinks my mom's here and is scared. So this was the best that I got because I have like a black furry jacket that looks really elegant for the evening. And then I'll do my wedges and I'll just suck it up if I get muddy. But like, I've made a mess. Okay, I gotta continue going. I will say I was pretty disappointed with the third date. This guy was waving around so many red flags, I didn't see it coming. Uh, hey, guys. God. <laughs> okay, I'm making Olivia refilm. And we're back. Hey. <laughs> so, Olivia has told me that I talk too much and I need to get to the chase because everybody's excited for the story time. Oh and I'm getting too much into the build-up. But you kind of need to know a little bit of a backstory. Yeah, there's some of it, just not... Fine, oh. I will rapid-fire this to you. I'll get my rapid-fire reactions ready. Yeah, get ready to react to the same stuff I had already told okay. you. <laughs> I met the guy on Hinge. Oh, Hinge? Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't know that. Yeah, and texting him was a bit weird. He was younger than me. He had just turned 23, which... It isn't always a red flag, but it can be. Can be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and genuine. It's genuine. <laughs> so, um, but I'll, like, I'll give a basis on like what he was like. He was pretty nerdy, which made me kind of proud of myself. Like I was so mature dating him <laughs> because I would not date a loser in high school. Like. My self-esteem wasn't good enough for that. Like, I was all into the popular boys. So I was, like, real proud of myself that I was genuinely liking this kid. He was unfiltered, like, with some of the stuff he would say, like, about how he has, like, back hair that he wants to get, like, removed. Ooh, yeah, you like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it, it was, I was a little annoyed because I was like, well, can I wax it? And he said no. I was like, why bring that up? Like, he's not going to yeah. let me wax it. Um, but he was unfiltered, and I found that kind of endearing, and it made me trust him more. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. that is so. I was like, oh, okay, like this is cute. And so, since the first two dates were good, I agreed on the third date, and the third date was going to be more of like a mega date. Three... The mega date. <laughs> <laughs> and the mega date was that we were going to go around 3 p.m., hang out, and then eventually go to dinner. And he invites me to a steak dinner. Mm. That's the way to your heart. And my pants. Once you're at the third date, wouldn't you assume like you're in the clear like that's what I was kind of yeah. thinking like so many people have like that third date rule where like you go yeah. all the way and like I wasn't gonna do that like we had just like kissed a little bit you know you were it's like you figured out that there's nothing really weird going on so you just like get to figure out do I actually really like you or like it's like yeah. past the first screening kind of yeah exactly yeah. so I was actually genuinely excited he asked me he says like I've never been to the Arboretum before <laughs> We were laughing at it, sorry. He tells me he's never been to the Arboretum before because he's not initially from Texas. And it's weird too because he relocated for his job and of all the places you can stay in Dallas, he was choosing a motel, like legit, like not a hotel, a motel yeah. south of an airport, which was like the shakiest location. But That doesn't sound too fun. Yeah, <laughs> but it just doesn't sound smart because like you're getting dressed up for work, you're coming and going, yeah. like people probably think you got probably some big money in there. I don't know. I just thought that was weird. It's not like he invited me to his motel, which is fine, but... Great view of the airplanes. Yeah, exactly. It was like literally like, I don't know. Anyway, so what was I talking about? Arboretum. Oh, yeah. So he tells me he's never been to... Ooh. You're moving the camera. <laughs> he tells me he's never been to the Arboretum before and asked me to go. I don't want to go. I don't like that kind of stuff. Talk about boring it sounds great to I, me. I really enjoyed the time with you though okay we but like we went at night we saw some like it was the 12 days of christmas yeah which i've never seen before we were with good company it wasn't like this awkward thing of like walking around with somebody i don't know it was weird we get there it's daytime it's extremely crowded guess what same 12 days of christmas oh uh. did not a fan but the exact uh, same those things um, are like 50 years old, so I bet they wouldn't have changed all those weird dolls. Yeah, no, they're, they're the exact same. Oh my god. I gotta rewind here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I'm being thrown off. I need to look at my notes here. <laughs> Can we please start over again? <laughs> okay. I forgot how this date went. He's so irrelevant now. <laughs> so I'm really excited though. Like I'm telling people like he was taking me to a steak dinner, mm, you know, like, and everybody's supporting me because they know how much I love steak. Mm -hmm. So I'm real, I'm still genuinely excited for this date, but I'm also kind of confused because a date that starts at 3 p.m., but then it's like a nice steak dinner. Like, what do you wear? It was like this whole thing. Like, I spent a long time choosing yeah. what outfit. Is it daytime? And makeup. Is it nighttime? Right? Yeah. Right? Like, I did. I even vlogged it, like, trying to get ready. And, like, in my vlog, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Anyway. <laughs> so, I get all dressed up. He's picking me up. I feel okay because I feel like he's pretty normal. I give him my address. Okay. So, he comes to pick me up. He doesn't come to my door. Ooh. He's chomping on gum. Ooh. Yeah. He's wearing jeans okay. and, in general, a god-awful outfit. He's not wearing socks. With shoes? <laughs> with his shoes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't have to wear socks with loafers, but, like, I feel like, in general, oh. like, people, people do that, right? Like, even if they're, like, the no-show socks. Yeah. His but... outfit is so ugly. <laughs> like, so ugly. Like, I was starting to, oh... Like, and I know I chomp on gum, but then I know not to chew gum in front of people I care about. He obviously Literally. doesn't care about you. So we drive there. It's a long drive to the arena. Yeah. He, like, tailgates. He's honking at people. He's, He's driving. Honking? I mean, they he were trying that. to get in his lane. But, like, at the same time, though, I was like, it was just shaky. Like, yeah. He, like, at one point, like, this person clearly had the right way, and he just didn't care, and he was just drunk. Oh. I would totally judge somebody's character. Yes, <laughs> of that. it was so bad. So, we get, that gets worse, though, okay? These are just, like, petty problems I got. We go to the Arboretum, and there's just, like, what are we going to do? Like, walk and talk. Like, it's the same 12 days of Christmas. Like, uh. ew, like, I don't even care. <laughs> and he starts telling me some things that I just felt like were not normal. So he starts, like, telling me political. We have this, I thought we had, like, the same political agreement. Uh -huh. But he starts talking about how certain people should be stripped of their voting rights if they're not contributing to society. And I know how mm -hmm. it's frustrating to kind of think that, but it sounded so silly. I was like, if you know government and society, like, do you get what I mean? Like, it just seemed kind of like, like, that's never going to get passed. Like, how, you know, why is it up to you to decide who gets stripped of their voting rights? Yeah. It just seems silly. I'm like, okay. Like, I'm trying to listen. And then he starts talking about how he loves how in the Asian cultures, how if you're not contributing enough, you get shamed. And how, like, the government shames you and your family shames uh -huh. you. And he thinks if you're shamed into it, you will be a, all around a better person. Hmm. Obviously, forgetting the fact that, you know, in a lot of Asian cultures, they deal with uh, mental health. Like, the suicide rate is way higher, yeah. all of this. And he, had, he just could not envision, like, the backside of that. And it was just uncomfortable, so again, weird. because I'm thinking, this seems just very radical, and I'm just a chill progressive, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, mm. And it's a it's really fine. easy way to, like like target certain people or like keep people certain people for oppressed away from yeah away yeah. from voting and yeah it's like really slippery slope yeah because he's like back then people who didn't own land couldn't vote so like the he liked life, that i don't know if he was ex like using that as an example of like going back to voting rights but not particularly that law mm. but at the same time i'm thinking that kind of then strips like the homeless it kind of targets a lot more minorities. Like, it just... Yeah, people who, like, just don't have a whole lot of money or, like, or even, like, the means of getting property or, like, the know-how or, like, yeah. Yeah, or people like with me. disabilities or, like, yeah. people who are, like, still genuinely nice people trying to figure things out. Like, yeah, it just didn't seem very... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I was kind of, like, I wasn't... It wasn't turning me on. But then he goes on to talk about his sister that he has no relationship with because he does not like the guys that she dates. Well. It was, re yeah, like, I was like, what? Like, I didn't understand that. And then he is like, well, I don't want, like, that's embarrassing to be affiliated with that. 
the guys she dates are losers and I'm not a, like I'm not going to reward her by talking to her. What? I know. That's like a bitch move. <laughs> it's like to totally cut off your relationship. You could like be giving your constructive feedback or like showing the your sister that you love her still or yeah. like that. It's like you should be showing her more support if you yeah. feel like she's making choices that are toxic or bringing her down. Not cut her off like because yeah. And That's obviously crazy. it was his ego because he was embarrassed by the affiliation of that. That's so weird. Yeah, and I'm like over here like, my brother's dead. <laughs> like, I wish I had. You know, like, I was yeah. getting like sad. Like, when I came home, I cried because of that. And not, it was literally just because like I cried for the sister. Yeah. Like, I, my sibling would never cut me off for that. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. And I was like trying to be helpful, but it was also really aggravating. And at one point he's like, do you think I don't know my own sister? And I'm like, no. Like, obviously not, you know? Yeah. Because you were, like, challenging him on that? or like Yeah, but I wasn't really challenging him to make him feel bad, but I was saying it seems more like if you think she's going after essentially losers, sometimes that has to do with somebody's Mm self-esteem. You always kind of, like, go at your match level. So I said, maybe she's hurting right now that she's choosing these guys that you're saying, like, are not motivated, they don't have a job, like... Obviously, he doesn't think they should vote, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. Probably. But, you know, it's just like, I felt like obviously he never took the empathetic route to dig deeper. So, yeah. I, that sucked. He goes on to tell me, like, he was telling me examples of, like, certain things his friends have said. I don't, I don't know how we got there, mm-hmm. basically. And he goes on to say about how his one guy friend was looking for a girl that like challenged him like something very personality based he was Mm. seeking and he goes on to literally burst out laughing while he's telling me this and saying bs no guy cares about that obviously he's caring about the way she looks (laughs) to me oh my god now that's just stupid like it's already worse enough to think that but to be dumb enough to tell me this I guess I'm supposed to see it as a compliment, but I was like, what? Like, you asshole, I hate you. <laughs> like, yeah. He just, like, wants you to just be, like, a pretty thing and not, like... Yeah, I guess. Improve but But he or, also or, like, expects... To, he'd, he'd be the kind of guy, though, who'd, like, probably... He didn't have this on his bio, or else I would not have been interested, but he'd be one who'd secretly want his hinge bio to be, like, must be able to carry a conversation. You know, like, they say that about women, which sucks. Yeah. Know? That's the vibe I got. But I'm thinking, why are you oh, telling me this? God. Then he was mad about... Be- his like friend of like eight years not inviting him to his wedding but his reception because he was making like the ceremony itself be very intimate small like just family and but he was allowed to the reception obviously it was a pricing issue Uh and so he was making fun of him for not having the money to be able to invite him Yeah, like, yeah, and he was saying, when I am a big shot lawyer, I'm going to have a big wedding, an open bar, and I don't know if I'm going to invite him. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Listen to this, too. He's not even in law school. What? Yeah. Like, I guess he took the LSAT, and then he said he needed the work experience to build his resume to get in, Mm because they now want that, but he's not even in. Law school. He sounds awful. Oh yeah. my god. And he loved to talk about how he was upper middle class. And I'm just gonna take a dig here. He needed braces. <laughs> Sorry, but like to keep telling me and bragging me about your upper middle class, and I'm thinking, <laughs> like I have braces. Like what get good braces. did that do? Yeah, what good did that do? You didn't even get braces. Yeah. So I'm just like looking. I'm like, okay, like, and then, oh. And then, then, it gets worse. And then, then? Yeah. There's no steak dinner. What? Instead, I get a lecture about the meat industry. Oh, my God. Did he, like, trick you into thinking that you... I guess, because all of a sudden, like, at the Arboretum... This is all happening at the Arboretum. He, like, goes on and he's like, I just feel like I need to tell you I don't eat meat because I don't appreciate how mean they are to the animals which i'm not either okay yeah. i'm just not but that's he, like it was a whole lecture and he's like i feel like i should oh be upfront God. about you because i know you love your steak and i'm thinking you promised me the steak dinner like 
not like when he mentioned this fancy steak dinner, like in tax leading up to this date, I felt bad. I was like, you don't have to like already like go on this fancy, like I don't need Bob's Steakhouse or something. So I was like, oh, we could do Olive Garden because I knew he liked Italian food. Like I didn't want him to feel like he needed to give me steak like yeah. on a third date. And he's like, no, like this is going to be a lot nicer than Olive Garden. Oh my God. And, and like then what he ended up having planned was not that. It was a comfort food place. Okay. And he's like, don't worry. It's not a fancy restaurant. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I spent <laughs> an hour coming up with my outfit for this fancy restaurant. I had like the nice oh dress, God. the wedges. I had like a, like a black fake fur pullover. Like, oh my God. And he's in this stupid jeans outfit looking like trash. <laughs> of course. Then he forgot what the place was. He like couldn't remember what restaurant he chose. So he was like, this is so weird. So then when he was like, do you want to grab a drink? And by then I was like, I could care less about this date, but I'm not up for making it awkward. I look cute, whatever. Like here's a story time video for mm -hmm. you guys. So I was like, okay. Wait, wait, at this point, okay. At this point, if I were you, I think I'd be like, oh great. This is one of those times where I'm on a date and it's so obvious that I don't like you and maybe even hate you. I'm gonna be like really dramatic and be more, like in the movies where they like stand up and like this is not working and like walk <laughs> out of the date. But I wanna I do that one time. <laughs> I do wanna do that one time. Yeah. I didn't do that because then I was like, oh, then I have to find a ride or I have to Uber. Like, I don't wanna pay for that. Or, or I don't wanna be in the car with him because he sounds kinda evil a little bit. <laughs> so I was like, okay. It was really uncomfortable because I used to be really good about being fake. But we're in the car, and I'm just, like, looking out the window. Like, I'm like, this is not fun. Yeah. But then we get to the bar because there's – it's still too early to go to dinner. <laughs> like, I'm like, this is all free for me. <laughs> oh my God. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drink. I'm going to have fun. I was literally – didn't help that my mixed receptive language disorder was acting up. Like, mm -hmm. tripping on my words. I wouldn't say I was slurring. Like, I wasn't that drunk, but I was just – you know, I was drinking beer on an empty stomach, so I was just like, mm, ha, 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 like laughing, asking him weird questions, like not caring whatsoever. But now okay. we got to go to dinner, and he doesn't know where to go. Wait, where are you now? Are you near your house, or is it? We're in like the Knox Henderson area. Okay. Guess where I choose? Fuzzy's. Kamali. Oh, Olivia's hey. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> So I see the people nice. there. They're so nice to me. I'm like, hey, like I'm popular. And you're like, I eat. They spit in his food for me. <laughs> I know, right? I should have. Um, ate some really good tacos. Mm. Then he's like, let me show you the building where I work in downtown. I was like, oh god, like you're terrible at driving. But you know what? And he liked you. <laughs> like he wanted to keep hanging out with you. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Like <laughs> I guess the thing is, I'd get that like years ago because I was really good at being fake uh -huh. but I felt like it was obvious I wasn't being fake I don't know mm. it I really don't know what was going on in his head but obviously he was down to continue out the date okay so and apparently extend it like yeah to it. show me his building where he worked but that could also have been an ego thing yeah I don't know like he was just kind of using Showing. up the time yeah. yeah I'm not impressed we went to private school here. Like, I'm just saying, like, when you've grown up into with these families that have money and stuff, you kind of just think that's the norm. Like, I don't mm -hmm. get impressed that much by that. Mm -hmm. and, it so, doesn't, and it doesn't mean anything if the person's, like, an at. Yeah, because we had a lot of, yeah, it's fine. Because we had so many nice kids we went to school with. Like, literally the bar is high now. Oh, like, he needs to straighten up. So he shows me that he drops me off doesn't walk me to my door which i'm okay with at this point but at the same time again where's the chivalry that i thought i was gonna have like to even get out of the car like yeah yeah to get out of the car so then he's like kissing me and i'm like oh. you <laughs> i'm like keeping my mouth very closed <laughs> yeah i mean it's fine because like i don't know i kind of like I know sometimes I get frustrated in my situations for playing along when I'm not happy, but I was like, 
I'm literally now buzzed. I've eaten my tacos. I'm amused by the whole thing. So I'm like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I ended up, not, and which was good because later I didn't care. So, but then he never talked to me again, which was fine. But at the same time, I was like, I hate you more <laughs> because yeah. I wasn't going, well, I was, I felt awkward because we didn't text that night and then we never have texted at all after that. And I felt like it was kind of rude for me to be the first one to text and be like, thank you, never again. It almost seemed kind of mean. Like, I was like, I'll wait to see if he's trying to pursue me again. Mm. And then yeah. he never pursued me again. So I guess we both ghosted each other. But at the same time, maybe he ghosted me. I don't know. I wasn't going to date him again. That was terrible. Yeah. But I knew that this story would really aggravate you. So I wanted to do it on <laughs> camera. Sure. I could give you his first name. Nobody would know that. His name, his first name was Scott. Screw Scott. Screw Scott. Ugh. Scotty's got to go. But nobody's going to know anything from that because he has no social media. We're not right. like friends. So, yeah, Scott, well. F you. <laughs> that's, <Good>. that's it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching this lengthy story time. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you missed Olivia, give this video a like. Leave a comment if you think you can top my terrible date story, but you can't. Mm -mm. Actually, some people might. Probably, yeah. yeah they'll have updates on this. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's glad to be back. I mean, I mean I'm yeah. glad to be back. <laughs> glad to see you again. Glad to see you. I'm not nervous. What are you talking about? <laughs> Subscribe to join the fam bam. Bam bam. Love you, mean it. Bye. <laughs>